So I've made butter before, of course, and I've done it in several different ways. I've done it in the, the shaking the jar method like you do with kids in preschool. And that's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. It's fun for the kids to see. And I've been making it with my immersion blender lately. So today I'm wanting to make a lot more butter than I normally make. When I do the immersion blender, it's only usually like a pint jar. And I use a wide mouth pint jar and I just make a little bit of butter at a time. Today I'm wanting to make a lot of butter, so I'm going to use the Ninja, and we're going to see how that works, and hopefully the Ninja blender will make it a faster process, and we'll be satisfied with that. So I got just over a quart of cream, and I'm going to blend it. It's going to go through the stages of looking like whipped cream first, and then it's going to start to look like lumpy whipped cream, and then it's going to separate and look like lumps of butter in milk and that's basically what it'll be butter in buttermilk and then I can strain that off and then I can finish my butter All right, you can see we're getting to the whipped cream stage and we're gonna keep on blending past this until it gets nice and thick and lumpy now we're at the clumpy whipped cream stage and it's gonna start breaking apart pretty soon this is so exciting now, would you look at that? That is so cool. When I say it starts to separate, it is an obvious separation of butter and buttermilk. I'm going to use this buttermilk to marinate my natural pork ribs for dinner tonight. Isn't that beautiful? On to the next step. Alright, so I'm just going to strain the buttermilk from the butter. So the buttermilk is mainly what's pouring out of the blender anyway, so I'm just catching any little pieces that might have tried to travel as well. And it doesn't have to be all of it, because the next step I'm going to do is going to get the rest of the buttermilk out of the butter. So I'm just getting as much out at first because I want to use that buttermilk and I almost got a whole quart of buttermilk so it's going to be really nice to have that buttermilk to use in other recipes like biscuits or um, using it as a marinade or whatever you'd like to use buttermilk for. Um, so I'm going to now scrape everything out of the pitcher and into a bowl and I'll show you what we do next step that I do is um, a, kind of an extra step that some of the other um, instructions I've seen out there don't always say to do, but I press the butter with the back of a spoon and I press it together and I keep doing that until it's like kind of clumped up into a ball. And the reason why I do this before I move on to the next step is because look the amount of buttermilk that didn't pour out on its own that has now collected in the bottom of my bowl. So I'm going to pour that into my jar of buttermilk as well. I should have used the strainer, but I, no, no chunks went in. And even if they did, it would just be butter added to my buttermilk. Nothing too big to worry about. And then I do it again. And I keep doing this for a little bit until it's not really running clean anymore. Um, not running buttermilk out anymore. Um, and when the buttermilk stops coming loose, I'll... Uh... So at this point, you technically have butter. Whoops. <laughs> so it's, um, it's butter at this point. Um, I can salt it now and have salted butter. And salt helps preserve it a little longer, so I am going to go ahead and do that. Um, and just, you know, a little bit of salt, you know, a teaspoon or two, doesn't require an awful lot. And, um, the reason why I wanted to pour off all of the buttermilk that I could by pressing it with a spoon is because the next step is washing the butter with cold water. And so any buttermilk that is left will be washed out and it'll, it'll be wasted. And I hate wasting anything. So I have prepared some cold water. <laughs> I did this because my tap water doesn't get very cold, so I just put some ice in the water, and I'm going to pour that over 
my butter and it's going to make the fat cling to each other. The, the fat and the butter is going to stick to itself. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the spoon, pressing it. The baby is awake. So. All right, so I am pressing the butter with the back of the spoon and the water is getting cloudier. I'll show you a little bit of that. My tripod will stay up and not fall over on me. Just pressing in the cold water and the water is getting cloudy. With All right, tripod fail. <laughs> I'm just propping up my camera now. So I'm just pressing it and pressing it. And um, the butter is getting firmer and firmer. The buttermilk is all getting washed out of the fat particles. This is going to help um, extend the shelf life of the butter. Fresh butter is not like store-bought butter. There's no preservatives at all. So this is a good, a good way to make sure that it lasts longer for you. And then I'm going to pour out that cloudy water, and I'm just going to pour that down the drain. Um, I probably could give it to the animals, but they've had a ton of whey lately. So I'm going to pour that out and add some more ice water and do it again. Butter gets colder and colder. Um, <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to push my spoon through it. If my water is not as cloudy as it was the last rinse. So I think we're going to do one more rinse drain it off and be done with it okay so we're gonna do one more rinse rowan just came in and said that he wanted to help this is a great project for him to help with and liam's trying to help right now so i'm gonna woo. there we go all right same thing again we're just gonna press it with the back of the spoon you are gonna do it here, let me see if Liam will be a nice boy. Okay, just press it down. Like you're making Play-Doh. Like you're making dough. Hey, Liam, look, 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 look. Look at what your brother's doing. Here, stand up on the chair. I'll hold you. Wow, look, are you helping him? Oh, don't splash too hard, Roro. There you go. Keep pressing it down into the water. Pressing it down into the water. Good helpers. Yeah. Aren't these boys the best? Yeah. They are the best. You guys are the best. Yeah. And the water is almost staying completely clear. So we know we've gotten all the buttermilk out. So this next time that we strain it off, we're going to go ahead and salt it after that. And form it into whatever shape we want. You can use molds if you have butter molds. Um, you can, if you have silicone molds, you can put them in those and make cute little shapes. Or you can just roll it into a ball. Yeah. Or put it in a bowl. You, you can do that. You can do that. <laughs> yeah. So as I strained off that last amount of water, I began kneading the butter by hand with really clean hands and squeezing out any more water that could have been trapped in between and forming it into a ball. Help him again. So I'm going to flatten my ball out now and I'm going to sprinkle salt over it and then I'm going to stir it up really good to get the salt fully incorporated. And I've got just some cheese salt. You can use kosher salt, sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, whatever salt you have. It really is up to you at this point. You can even flavor this butter if you wanted to and make it all different flavors. Probably the teaspoon. Okay. We don't need a whole tablespoon of salt for this amount. Yes, sir. All right. So, one spoon. Sorry, I got a double bag. I'm trying to find where the opening is. Okay. So I'm gonna stir it in. We're gonna go with it. Add a teaspoon to this amount. Sprinkle it over the butter. All right. Can you stir it? And then we're going to chop and stir so that it mixes throughout. Drop and stir. That's not even stirring because the butter. 